This is about my life. This is me. I've had moments of, um, yeah, complete uh, magic, really. Like the fact that Venice Film Festival went ahead and we were all able to be there in person, all together, seeing, sitting in cinema, watching films was remind, reminding me how, how important our industry is. And it just was such a beautiful communal experience. And I can't wait to it all back being able to do that. It felt like a really long time, I think, because I started off doing stage work for many, many years, all up and down England, you know. And when you're doing that, you know, it might be 300 people a night only. And honestly, I think things started to change when we did The Crown. And that was something which, you know, Netflix was still quite early days in, the, in those days. And um, we had no idea that if anyone would even watch it. And suddenly it kind of came out and people started talking about it. And it seemed like many more people we ever imagined watched it. And, and that was that was so beautiful because we really loved that show and I loved that character more than anyone I've ever played. And so uh, suddenly the idea of someone sort of watching something out of choice and something you loved was, so it, it was, it was uh, it meant a lot to me that it was that on that show, I guess, that people actually watched something I did. <laughs> Not really consciously. I mean, Mission Impossible came along just because I was on The Crown and Chris McQuarrie had seen it and sort of approached me and we, we started chatting. And um, it wasn't something I I never imagined myself in action movies because, like I said, I, I really came from the stage. Um, but I thought it was something that would be so challenging and it really scared me. I'm really not a very physical person. At school, I was always the last one in the running race. You know what I mean? So, so it was more like overcoming a personal challenge, and also um, setting the kind of intention of trying to create a character and and a woman that was sort of complex and um, in a very alpha world. You know what I mean? That was my intention, and um, I was very glad to come back and do well to come and pieces of a woman because it required such a kind of emotional intensity, and that's where I'm really, really happy. So I felt. Uh, it was lovely to come back, and I imagine this is where I'll stay, really. Especially looking back, you know, I I knew that my responsibility was to honour the women that had told me their stories about um, losing a child at any stage of pregnancy or just after they're born or, or later too, and... It, the whole time when I was filming, I really felt connected to them and I felt like it was for them because their story hasn't been told before. It's something that's so kind of silenced in society. And I learned the statistic the other day, 54% of people know someone or have been through a miscarriage, a stillbirth or a neonatal death. And that that's half, over half, um, you know, the percentage of people. And, and yet it's really so rarely spoken about. So I kind of felt that I was part of that and therefore I the the biggest challenge I guess as the actor was to try and embody and feel how do justice to their feelings about about what that that experience and that trauma is like so every day that's all I concentrated on was just having tried to really understand them and um, really get to know how it was for them try and try and do that um, for them and so it took me a long time to come out when I when I got home and then it was, you know, the, the pandemic hit, which was crazy for all of us and um, I had to really sort of process and let go of let go of that grief because it's a, you know, for Martha, the character, it's a good six, seven months of really hard days. Mm -hmm. 